In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six animated semicircles infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the first semicircle comes. I have put the option number one. You can add the title and the detailed text here. And when I click with a different color, it will show you the second option, the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you have not subscribed to my PowerPoint University channel, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light gray background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape, click the oval shape. You end up getting a shape something like this and you can see under format, the height and width is one, one inches only. So I'm going to make it as 4.3 or you can change it according to your requirement. All right, and then align center, align middle and shape outline make it no outline now i'm going to cut the circle into half i'm going to delete the bottom part for that go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle cover the bottom part of the rectangle the half part then select the rectangle hold the shift key select this rectangle so first of all sorry uh, select the oval shape and then hold the shift key select the rectangle then merge shape and click on subtract so you end up getting only this semicircle here all right then i'm going to change the color to white and press ctrl d to duplicate hold the shift key reduce the size and give any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give this purple and i'm going to put it exactly in the center all right now i'm going to give some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape again draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and then right mouse click go to format shape and increase the transparency here you can see something like that maybe 50, 50 about 50 percent then go to the effects under soft edges increase the size you can see like this and then i'm going to make it somewhat up and then i want to cover the the shadow effect here for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle something like this shape outline no outline and the trans the color i'm going to change to the color which i have added for the background so i'm going to choose the same color here so you can see here it looks something like this now let me just remove these guides i don't need now then i can go and insert the title here all right center align make it bold i'm going to give the same color which i have used here maybe 24 and put exactly in the center and then i'm going to duplicate this and then here for this i'm going to use the number all right and for this i'm going to give some gray color and put it here maybe increase the size something like this all right and then go to insert text box you can add some detailed text equals l-o-r-e-m within bracket one and then delete the unwanted part i'm going to reduce the size you can see here make it white center align and then i'm going to place this in the center so this one the design is okay now over now if you want you can add some shadow effect but doesn't require so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to put it towards the the left here maybe this one press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here again ctrl d bring it here all right so if it is uh, not aligning what you can do is you can select the second part all right and then somewhat you can bring it here and then go to format send this to back all right something like this now i'm going to select this one again i'm going to put it here and then send this to back all right 
so something like this you can do that one again if you want to do some correction you can select this part all right and then i you can just move a little bit here also down also okay now once this is done press ctrl a select all and if you want to add towards the right six options i'm going to hold the ctrl shift key together and i'm going to just make it to the right side so you can see here our design is okay now and then if you want you can give some different color according to your choice whichever color you feel you can just change the color all right so i can just give some time being a different color all right you can see here i have used all different colors here then for this maybe i'm going to give the orange or any color then change the the title color also according to the same color and now this one i'm going to make this as two this is as three this is four five and this is six okay now i'm going to group this one one by one i can select you can see here by holding the shift key i can just group this this part only you can see here and if it is gone back you can select this one and bring this to front like this okay for this also i'm going to hold the shift key and group it press ctrl g and again select this one and bring to front like this you need to just group it all one by one or before duplicating also you could have we could have done the uh, this one we have we can group it before itself so we don't need to uh, spend time on this one so again this also i need to group it sorry i need to bring to front otherwise what happens this will be uh, overlapping that one so like this you need to group it one by one and then to do the animation is very simple go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one add animation more entrance effects and i'm going to choose peek in you can see here peek in something like this click ok and double click if you want the speed to be very fast or fast whatever you can just current uh, change it here and click ok and it's very easy i can just simply select this one all right so you can see here when i click it comes here comes like this so the same thing you can just do the animation painter like this all right so then you have to group it and do it it's a simple uh, powerpoint template 